All right, second time on the Apollo Ghost. Dual motor, gear three. Looks like it just rained. Oh yeah, the front tire will uh, definitely break traction there. All right, so my first impression of the scooter is that it's extremely smooth. It's very fast. I had a lot of fun just in dual motor in gear one. That was that was pretty nice. Switching it to dual motor in gear three, it's a whole nother ball game. Um, as you can see, so when I take off, it's gonna trip the tires. So it's pretty quick. I definitely see I can commute on this scooter. It's very fast. I can keep up with cars, no problem. As you can see, very easy. Very easy to ride. And turn my lights on. It's extremely easy to ride and really not that intimidating. Even in the wet with a bunch of leaves on the ground, just being extra careful. The regen brakes are very strong. Very, but jumping off curbs, extremely easy, very fun. Let's see how fast I can go. Battery's not fully charged. But, so right now we're doing 28, 30, 31. There's a big dip in the road up here. Be careful with that. Uh, so earlier I was only able to get to 32 miles an hour. I say only, but it's very fast. So we're going 29. This is full throttle, dual motor, gear three, turbo. 32, 33, 34, 34 is about what I can get in this weather, which is plenty fast. I really like this scooter because I feel like the only way for me to safely commute is if I can keep up with traffic. And most of the speed limits to my work is 35. So if I can go 35 and not get past like crazy, it will be doable. <laughs> I love when you take off how that front tire is just chirping. It's pretty crazy. What's also really awesome is the dual suspension. It's, it's comfortable enough to where it feels like I could ride it for a long time and not get tired. It definitely feels like money well spent. This, the scooter feels very solid and like heavy duty. Um, it doesn't feel cheap at all. Be careful going through here. Enough that you, you wouldn't want to fall at this speed. <clears throat> I'm getting used to the regen brake. It's it's almost like you hit the regular disc brake, and these are the hydraulic ones, and then the regen kicks on as well. So you get you get dual disc brakes and then regen kicking on pretty strong. It'll slow you down very quick. Overall, I'm very happy with my purchase of the Apollo Ghost Scooter. For someone that comes from riding motorcycles and dirt bikes, I was afraid the electric scooter wouldn't be fast or fun enough. But after riding this dual motor scooter, I can safely recommend one of these for some fun weekend thrills or a different way to commute to work. The quality, speed, and fun factor are just a few things that make these electric scooters different than any other type of transportation I've tried. Thanks for joining me today and stay tuned for more motorcycle, mountain bike and e-scooter adventures.